that, I'll just try to wrap up my general evaluation of the meeting. Um, I took quite a bit of notes, but I'll try to summarize it a bit because I know we're a little short on time. First of all, I know we had to make a couple adjustments to the schedule because fit to fit in elections. Um, thank you for Mariana and you know, Amanda and other people who were kind of uh, participating in making sure that we get rid of like the odd counter and grammarian so it doesn't take as much time. Uh, next is setup. I'd really like to thank Amanda and Natar for helping me and of course our guests who <laughs> so graciously helped us on setup as well, which you really didn't have to look Amanda said, but thank you. Uh, next, I'd like to give a couple of special thanks. Uh, one to Atar for filling in a little bit of a last minute evaluation for Amin, and to Lucy for switching over from Hawk Counter to another role that we needed to be filled out, which is our AV coordinator. So thank you. Next, I'd like to talk a little bit about the theme. Uh, Arvind? Yes, Arvind. I really like the naturopathy theme. Um, I thought it was really engaging, and it got a lot of good discussion, especially for Graham and Tala. Uh, I learned quite a bit in terms of the differences, like I think you mentioned this before and just talking, how uh, the traditional kind of medicine is like kind of more suited towards treating symptoms versus naturopathy is kind of more about prevention and trying to stop it from getting to that point. Um, next, I'd like to just go quickly over the speeches. First was Dina, I really, first of all, congrats on your first speech. I thought you did great, a really great job. Um, I like the idea of synchronicity, is that right? <laughs> and um, I really liked your journey and how it was sort of an informative um, experience for you. Uh, it sounds like it sounds like something that's very magical and esoteric for a lot of people, especially seeing it from the outside, but I hope everyone has and maybe will have that kind of experience in their, in their lives as well. Uh, next is Marisol. It's always a great pleasure to listen to you. Um, I had the pleasure of being her speech evaluator for a couple times, and I just say from, from that point, which was like maybe a couple months, maybe half a year, something like that, I think you've gotten even better in your speech delivery and your in your posture, uh, specifically in like your movement, which is something that I criticize a lot from you, but backstepping. Um, I've noticed a lot more purposeful and steady movement, so awesome job there. And obviously you're, you're really great in everything else that you covered in there. Uh, next is Amin. I recall your speech and your experience with your stroke a little bit, um, and how you persevered through it. And I like how this one was like a contrasting image to that, where it was more humorous and it was less of a heavy topic. Um, and uh, it was about your encounter with us knowing that. So thank you for sharing that and coming to our meeting. Uh, next is the table topics with, who um, Graham was kind of hosting. I really like the effort to make uh, kind of a, kind of a connection with the theme. I know it's a little hard sometimes, especially with a topic that you might not be as familiar with, but I'm glad you made the effort. And I thought you did a good job in terms of explaining all the different kinds to us who, as lay people who don't really know what's going on. Um, it was very informative, and it was a really nice supplementary uh, supplement, uh, in addition to what Arvin said earlier in the meeting. Uh, I'd just like to do this one last thing, which is kind of try to evaluate the speech evaluators. Um, so first was Joash. Is anyone not here? Okay. Okay. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I really liked how he broke down um, into very different like categories uh, and tried to incorporate uh, the specific ask that Dina wanted. Um, I think, I think in terms of, uh, I think he talks really fast, and I kind of do that right now. But I think he was kind of worried about his time frame that he had for the speech evaluation. And if he focused more on the key points instead of kind of going a broad subject, that might have helped him out. Um, for Akram, uh, I've seen him come here up here a couple times, and I think you really nail all the points that I usually have in my own mind and what I write for that speech, um, that speaker. Um, and you also even go further, like you're very granular and I think that's a great aspect of a speech evaluator. One thing that I would have to point out is that I think you're kind of naturally soft-spoken and a little quiet. I think if you're a little louder and a little bit more projecting your voice, like you, everyone else can kind of benefit from what you're trying to say. Um, and the last one is Atar. Um, I honestly have like no kind of feedback for you. I just wanted to kind of praise you in terms of how you incorporate humor and you're very specific and you have such a vast and rich vocabulary. Whenever you come up here, it's just like, I have to like note down all the words you say and kind of try to put them in my own speech. Uh, overall, I'd just like to say that this was a really great meeting and um, I think uh, maybe we can try doing a, bit, a little bit better on time. I think I'm kind of prob prob part of the problem on that, but uh, just for future reference, just try to keep on track of that. Uh, so I'd like to now hand it back to our TME and thank you all for listening. <laughs>